Eso. Rover. Now is the hour of the yellow turbans. Observe, infidels, the miracles wrought by the heavens. Gah. We can't fight this strange power. Someone, anyone, take out Zhang Xiao. Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. We cannot afford to lose this position. I shall personally see to its defense. We'll be better off once we can capture that position. It must be captured at once. gifted to me by the heavens. I will use this chance to seize glory. And when that happens, I may grant you the opportunity to stand by my side. <laughs> so that's Dong Zhuo. I heard he worked together with the eunuchs to oust an imperial general even though it led to chaos on the front lines. Yeah, he seems like the type to step on others to get ahead. I got a bad feeling about him. Men driven by such unadulterated greed are usually up to no good. We had better keep an eye on him going forward. Zhao Zhao. Nothing can stop me from fulfilling my ambition. Impressive, cousin. You truly are the one that will conquer this land.
We'll be better off once we can capture that position. It must be captured at once. Heavens, grant me the strength of unbreakable rocks! Let's go! Now is the time to attack! are no longer impenetrable!
monster has been destroyed. Now we will be unable to demonstrate our true might. Take defensive positions. Another altar has been destroyed. will weaken the enemy greatly. All units, march! No! All my altars have been destroyed! Ah, oh, the strength is draining from my body! For me, you are Let's go! Now is the time to attack! the one that will conquer this land. Chen Shao, head of the Yellow Turban, has been defeated. Justice prevails. Oh, you're the one that slew Zheng Zhao. I know the Emperor will be pleased with your service. It seems like a waste to have a capable hero such as yourself toiling away as a local official. I would like to summon you to Luoyang and introduce you to the Emperor. What do you say? I appreciate your kind offer. However, even without Zhong Jiao, the Yellow Turbans continue to sow chaos throughout the land. I feel my presence is still needed here for the time being. You are much too important to be dealing with such a trivial matter. Leave it to the Volunteer Corps. Master Dong Zhuo also speaks quite highly of you. So forget about that nonsense, and I will see you in Luoyang. He makes it sound so easy to put down this rebellion. Does he have any idea what it really entails? If we simply look the other way, it'll be like letting the land be overrun by a plague of locusts. Hmm. Cao Cao, you're not actually going to listen to him, are you? All right. This could be a good opportunity for us to deal with the causes behind this rebellion. Of course. We cannot ignore the strife throughout the land. However, there are others that can deal with it. This may be just the chance that we've been looking for. Hmm. I see. You want to expel the corruption that has taken root within Luo Young. Cao Cao, you should proceed as you see fit. Whatever you decide, we will be there to watch your back. I know I can always count on you both to be there for me. Yes.
Through the valiant efforts of the Imperial and Volunteer Forces, Zhang Xiao, founder of the Way of Peace, is defeated. The Yellow Turban Rebellion is ended. But the longed-for peace did not return. At the capital of Luoyang, the eunuchs faced off against the faction made up of the relatives of the Emperor. Using this as an excuse, Yuan Chao and others raid the Imperial Palace, killing the eunuchs. Under cover of this confusion, Dong Zhuo of Xilian leads his forces to the capital. He seizes control of the Emperor, appoints himself Prime Minister, and proceeds to take control and to tyrannize the country. The Lords soon began to feel themselves in danger. Curses! That blasted Dong Zhuo has used the confusion to seize control of the Emperor! All our efforts in getting rid of the Ten Eunuchs have been wasted! Any within the palace who dared stand up to his tyranny have been executed. The rest are all too fearful to do anything about it. This is most lamentable. We must slay him with all haste and rescue the Emperor! That is most admirable of you, Yuan Shao. So, when are you planning to actually make your move? Everybody knows you are the leader behind the anti-Dong Zhuo movement. If you do not participate, we will likely miss out on our best opportunity. Well, it's not as easy as you make it sound. Dong Zhuo is protected by the mighty Lu Bu. We have to find some way of getting past him first. He doesn't seem to have much of an aptitude for subtlety. I could hear him all the way down the road. Cao Cao, we received a message from Dong Zhuo. It seems he wishes to meet you. Of course, I'm not sure I trust him at all. It only makes sense that he wants to keep an eye on us. Our Lord is old friends with Yuan Shao, and we all know how outspoken he can be. If Yuan Shao decides to sit back and watch, We'll lose the chance to make our move. We need to find a way to force his hand. As such, I feel now is the time for us to seize the opportunity that lies before us. Huh. Finally, we're making our move. In that case, let us in on what you've got planned. There are two ways to get rid of Dong Zhuo. We can raise an even larger army to crush him, or we can use more subtle methods to bring him down from within. It would be rather difficult to raise the army necessary to defeat him. Therefore, that leaves us with the other option. How do you propose we take him out from within? Don't tell me you. We sneak into Luoyang Castle and assassinate him. Yuan Shao is incapable of such a task, and we have no other choice. Which means, I must do it myself. Hmm. That's the last solution I wanted to hear from you. Although, I suppose it's no use trying to stop you now that you've made up your mind. Cao Cao, Yuan and I will secure your escape route. Whether you are successful or not, you're going to need a way out of there. Speaking of which, Yuan Shao said that Dong Zhuo is accompanied by the mighty warrior Lu Bu. Try not to get yourself killed, my lord. Zhang Liao is guarding Dong Zhuo's palace. He is well known throughout the land for his bravery. We must approach with caution.
Excuse me. Have you seen any suspicious characters lurking about? Don't let your guard down for an instant. Of course. I will let the others on watch know. Yes. What am I to do? I cannot let you pass through here! Not without a fight! This is bad. I see. Actually... For such a pretty one. I've been surrounded by bandits. If only I had heeded my father's warning. Set hop! 
Who do you think you are? This woman belongs to us now. See? Surrender or die! See? So... Damn it! Run! You better hope that you don't encounter us again, though. See? Thank you for helping me. You fight with such beauty and grace. Just seeing you out there has inspired a new melody within me. I shall play it for you when we return to Luoyang. Lord Cao Cao? Nothing can stop me from fulfilling my ambition! Impressive, cousin. You truly are the one that will conquer this land. I've got some great stuff here. I appreciate your business. You need a horse? I'll be here if you need me. Hey! Get on in here!
Come again! Get on in here! Come again! Welcome, welcome! Do please come again! Yes. get for you. Please come again. I've got some great stuff here. I appreciate your business. Oh, are you a hunter? It looks like you've caught yourself an impressive quarry. I myself am not much of a hunter, but... I do like to look at what others bring back. Show me what you catch and I'll reward you well. I've got... I appreciate your business. I'll be here if you need me. Yeah. Hey, get on in here. Come again. Well, I'll be supporting you.
Set. So. See. Thank you. Thank you.
safe out there. Shit! <laughs> 